Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Something very different for you tonight, or today. I'm down in Dumfries for a few days and I'm staying in a very... Sorry, I've just noticed some bluebells. Yeah, I'm staying in a very nice hotel called Friars Cars. Now, if you know anything about your uh, Robert Burns history, then you'll know that Robert Burns' final farm before he became a full-time excise man was about a mile from here at Ellieslund Farm. And he was good friends with the people who lived here. So much so that the owner built a small they called it the Hermitage and gave Burns the keys so that when the trials and tribulations of everyday life as a farmer got into him he could sneak away to the Hermitage and compose songs and poems and uh, I've been given the keys The plan for this video is to have a little look in there, share that with you guys, and then I'm going to head down to the, the River Nith, which runs right alongside the hotel, and we're going to do a sunset. So, let's go. We have the promise of some beautiful light tonight. Let's just hope that continues until sunset. I think sunset probably is still another three or four hours away. If you need a place to escape to, this is pretty close to the ideal, isn't it? Wow. Look at this. And there we have the Hermitage. Oh my god. Look at this. You can just imagine Burns sitting there. Wow. This is incredible. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna head back down to Fryer's cars, hand the keys in before I lose them, and then I'll head down to the the riverside. With a bit of luck there'll be some bluebells down there and I might be able to find a couple of compositions with the the bluebells and the river because the river is absolutely beautiful here. So Let's go. Cool. 
of these currents and eddies that you see just spinning around in the surface there. That is incredible. Right, I absolutely love this scene here. You've got these beautiful reflections and basically where I'm shooting from is this tree here, that little gravel bank. Those beautiful reflections, the light just catching these trees and this, the, I'm stopping just round about this um, line where you can see the bubbles coming off the current. That is absolutely beautiful. Almost certainly a panorama, maybe a 16 by 9 or a maybe even a 3 by 1. Okay, so I've kind of come round a little bit now and I'm pretty much shooting directly into the sun. But what that's allowing me to do is to get some very dark shadows and all these leaves are, are backlit. So they look absolutely incredible on the back of the camera. I've just stopped for a moment to shoot all the, there's loads and loads of flies and things just buzzing along the, the surface of the river. I just caught my eye, so I'm capturing some, some footage of that. This is incredible. All right, I'm going to stop videoing for a minute and just fire off maybe five or six photographs which all stick together as a wee montage right now. Enjoy. So, as you can see, I've come down again. It's about 15 minutes till sunset. And it looks like the sun's setting in the general direction of the course of the river. So, I'm gonna give it 20 minutes, half an hour, see if we can find anything to photograph. This first shot is pretty much just a straight, good old fashioned, straight into the sunset. Um, trees rendered the silhouettes focused on this kind of clump of trees at the side here I don't imagine I'm going to be able to recover any detail from it so what I'm going to do is bracket the exposure a little bit um, do a long exposure, burn out the sky but 
hopefully get some of the detail from this tree here, which is the same tree I was shooting earlier. And uh, yeah, I've got some clouds in the sky there, which might pick up some of the light once the sun pops behind the horizon. Right, I quite like this. We've got these lovely eddies and swirls in the in the river. Makes for an interesting foreground because you're looking at it thinking, well, what's going on there? And then you've got the reflection of this tree, which I was shooting earlier. The tree itself. And then beyond it, hopefully what might be a nice sunset. So I think this is going to be the composition for sunset. I, I don't want to really move from here now. It wasn't <laughs> it wasn't the easiest place to get to. So I'm gonna just hope now that these clouds up here catch the light. We get a bit of colour in the sky behind this tree. We get a lot more colour here. And these ripples and eddies continue to do what they're doing. Maybe with just a little bit of colour reflected in there as well. So, it's just a waiting game now. I think we're about five minutes from sunset. Unfortunately, I've just noticed there's a bank of clouds right along the western horizon. So, that might cause us some problems, but... It is what it is. So, this is a shot. In terms of settings, I'm at ISO 100. F16, I think. Just double check that. F16, yeah. And I'm having to bracket the exposure slightly in order to get some of the detail in this very dark area here. I'm having to shoot at around uh, half a second, which I'm hoping is going to create the illusion of a bit of motion in here. But at half a second, the sky burns out. So I'm having to shoot at one eighth of a second as well for that. Beautiful. It's anatypical. Those clouds are catching the light, but they're just a little bit too much to the right. I could have done with them maybe about here, but they're over there. So it means I'm having to widen the angle slightly on, on the lens. I'm going right, to right up to 24 millimeters now. Well, that's giving you some interest in an otherwise plain sky, so I really want to include that. the cloud <laughs> typically the sun's down but because we don't have any kind of high clouds there's nothing really catching the light so short of a few long exposures with these ripples and what color there is left in the sky I think that's probably it for today it's a shame that well, hopefully I got some images while the, while the light was good. Right, I think that is it for the end of the day. Uh, I'm going to... So every now and again a fish jumps in the water. Right, yeah, anyway. That is it for the end of the day. I'm going to head back, get the batteries and stuff recharged, all set for a sunrise shoot. Probably in the same location, well, further along the river, but I'm still here. And uh, yeah, don't forget to give us a little thumbs up if you liked the video, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.
So this is my view from the window in the hotel. Which is quite nice in its own right, but I've just realised that if I sit long enough, I can watch the bats flying around. <laughs> 